Nikki, old bossy heart. Oh, hey, I'm Nikki, old bossy heart. You know, they call me old bossy because I like to get things done and you better do what I tell you. Excellent. In number two box, we have Arlie, handsome Pete, Schrantz. Hey everyone, I'm Arlie Handsome Pete Schrantz. They call me Handsome Pete because that was me in an alternate life. Excellent. In number three box, we have David Thunder Sharp. Yeah, that's right. They call me David Thunder Sharp. Uh, Thunder is actually my bearded dragon, and I'm nicknamed after him. Sweet. And finally, in the fourth box, we have Zach Sparkles Timpson. Yes, uh, they call me Zach Sparkles Timpson because in high school I was known for always bringing notebooks and backpacks that were decorated in, you guessed it, sparkles. Excellent. Those are our players. We're going to play our next game. It's called hashtag that's right i have some weird news stories and our players are gonna come up with the funniest hashtag you guys could vote by putting in the comments number one two three or four you could vote for all players or one player uh the person with the most votes wins that round um First news story, we're going to go in order f around the box. One, two, three, four, starting with Nikki. Come up with a hashtag for this news story. A nine-year-old moves out of his house into a tree house. That's a true story. Hashtag living free. Nice, Harley. Uh, hashtag Labor Day. <laughs> David. Hashtag glow up. Glow up for <laughs> Zach. Hashtag upgrade. I think ha so. Hashtag upgrade. So vote in there and we'll come back for the results. Our next one is our story is a Komodo dragon in an apartment in the Bronx. The owner had it potty trained. A Komodo dragon. That's a story I did not make up. Starting with uh, Nikki again. Uh, hashtag you talking to me? <laughs> uh, Our... Hashtag Khaleesi in the Bronx. <laughs> nice. Game of Thrones, three. Hashtag uh, Komodo to my house. <laughs> Number four. Uh, hashtag Mushu on the poo poo. Mushu Milan, yeah. Okay, start your voting now. Looks like we have votes for number three. Ah, oh, David Sharp, you won. Oh, there's a number two vote too. So Arlie, you get a point. David, you get two points. And introduction goes to Zach. You get one point. Nikki, you have a half a point. <laughs> Our next game we're going to play right away is... Frenzy app, my favorite. We all know that you're competing to be my best friend. Um, I'm going to go through a bunch of profiles, and if I swipe right, you get to do another character to vibe for my best friend. If I swipe left, you got to hide your face. That's right, you got to hide your video. And you are at a game. Last comic or improviser standing gets to be closer to being my best friend all right this sounds good i just need a suggestion of a lot of place people gather a lot of place people gather let's see if we could get that a, see, uh, nowhere yeah a place where a lot of people gather yeah nowhere yeah sometimes i could talk <laughs> Sometimes I can. Oh, we got a old country buffet. <laughs> Your characters will be inspired by old country buffet. We're going to start with David going in order from three, four, one, two, back to three, four. So, David, you start and opening my app. Frenzy, go. Hi, my name is Alberto. Uh, I am in charge of the chocolate fountain. Uh, I'm pretty new here. I don't have a lot of privileges, <laughs> but if my manager isn't looking, I'll let you dip a finger in. 
Swipe right. <laughs> okay, what's going on, dudes? Uh, my name is Rick, and I'm here with my friends. We made a bet that we could go back to the buffet of who could do it the most. I'm currently at 12 right now, but they're about to get 13. Please, I can't eat anymore. I need new friends, please. Nice. I like friends. Swipe right. Yo, my name is Rowdy, and you, I do what it sounds like. I get rowdy in here. I eat all the food, and I bring my dates, too. Oh, I like getting rowdy. Swipe right. Hey, my name's Kevin. I'm in charge of the meat carving station. So <laughs> if you want the prime choices of the roast beef, I can hook you up. <laughs> Swipe right. I do like roast beef. <laughs> Who doesn't? My name is... Spicy tuna, because I am, in fact, a spicy tuna roll that is on the buffet. I am buffet sushi. I I wouldn't eat me either. Yeah, you said it yourself. Swipe left. Hide your face. I, I know. Don't eat buffet sushi. Oh, my God. My name is Deborah, and here's what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to spill a bunch of hot nacho cheese sauce on myself, and then it's going to scald my skin because it's too hot, and then I'm going to sue the restaurant. And now we're going to get lots of money, and we can go anywhere we want. Okay, darling? It's going to be terrific. That was hilarious, but you remind me of my mom. Swipe what? left. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sally. I'm here with my 15 brothers and sisters because this is my parents favorite place to take us we like hide under each other when we come in so it only looks like there's seven of us <laughs> i like i like the family so uh swipe right hello my name's dolores i'm here for the early bird special can you help me sir sir can you hear me? Is this thing on? Hello? Uh, sounds like I'm gonna have to explain a Hello? lot. <laughs> Early bird special. Swipe left! Hide your face! And we have a winner! Nikki Hart, you win five points, and you're in the lead to be my best friend. Everybody come back. Come back. <laughs> Alright, our next game is a classic this is everybody will play as a team uh they will answer your questions our home audience at home and uh one word at a time um and they are experts they are together professor know-it-all there's nothing they don't know so please answer uh ask some questions um i have some questions over here uh rick steadman is giving us some uh suggestions he's a beast thank you rick and a very funny guy see him at uh csc comedy sports online shows uh give you a little plug there what makes a perfect meal mr know-it-all i mean professor know-it-all what makes a perfect meal Starting uh, with uh, one, two, three, four. Perfect meals are made for perfect people. Perfect meals made for perfect people. Excellent. Uh, where can I go during the lockdown? Uh, Professor Know It All, same order. My opinion is you should go nowhere i guess nowhere it is a lockdown that makes sense to me you see how smart the professor is uh how can people find love walking toward your lover you will see love. Oh, just walk towards your lover. All right, we got a, another question from, let's see, from Matt. We got a question. Uh, oh, why do redwood trees grow so tall? Oh, I got a Katie Stout. Uh, I want to use this one. Uh, is saying, what should I do if I run out of wine? Oh, that's a, that's an important question over here. 
call your emergency doctor. Call your emergency doctor. Thank you, Katie Stout, another wonderful improviser in OC. So check her out when we're back up. Okay, cool. Uh, one more question for Professor Know It All. Uh, what's the best fruit to eat? You know, I like fruit. The best fruit to eat is kumquats with strawberries and alfalfa sprouts. And Alpha Sprouts. Thank you, Professor Know It All. You were wonderful, very wise. Um, that was a team effort. Everybody gets six and a half points divided by two and um, something to do with pie. Excellent. Calculate that. And we're coming to our last game. We are fast and furious. Thank you guys for suggesting stuff and joining us. Uh, our last game is one of my favorites. It's called Name Exchange. That's right. Um, that's where we take a celebrity's name. So if you have a celebrity name, just uh, please suggest that. Write, write a bunch of celebrity names. So And we exchange it and rhyme it. I'll give you an example. If it was uh, Brad Pitt, I would say something like, If Brad Pitt ran off set crying, he'd be called... Sad quit. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Sad quit. I'll do another one. If Brad Pitt started a online improv uh, <laughs> game show, he'd be called Chad Hit. Hey, a plug for me. Yeah, cool. Okay, uh, things are coming in. Um, I think I saw Will Smith by Katie again. Um, and I got Rick on deck. So uh, let's do Will Smith. Uh, if you have one, just raise your digital hand. Yes, Nikki. If Will Smith wasn't real, he'd be Will Myth. Ooh, David. Uh, if Will Smith hung out with me, uh, he'd be chill with. Ooh, cool. <laughs> Nikki. If Will Smith was a bad guy in Star Wars, he'd be Will Sith. Nice. Zach. Uh, if Will Smith had really bad back pain, he would be Will Stiff. <laughs> uh, Arlie. Uh, if Will Smith couldn't make up his mind, he'd be Will We or Won't We. <laughs> uh, David, uh, last Will Smith one and we're moving on. Will Smith is being a real grouch. He would be Pill Smith. Pill Smith, cool. Uh, we're gonna take uh, another Rick Steadman. Let's try uh, Cardi B. Cardi B is the one we're doing. Oh, okay, Zach. Uh, if Cardi B uh, was hosting a get together that only she went to, she would say, "Party me." That's true, uh, Arlie. If Cardi B was a student, she'd have a report card, E.B. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nikki, number one. If Cardi B uh, was planted on the ground and grew fruit, she'd be Cardi Tree. That's true. David. If Cardi B was feeling a little gassy in her tum-tum, she would be Farty Beans. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> no, no. Uh, okay, all right. I'll stop. I, lo I love a good toot joke. All right, uh, <laughs> Arlie, number two. If Cardi B was trying to buy alcohol and she's under twenty-one, she'd say, "Are you carding me?" Yes, she would. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a new one. Uh, last one. <laughs> uh, let's go with um, Leonard ne Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy. Okay, David. Uh, if Leonard Nimoy was very surprised, he would be spocked. <laughs> uh, for Zach. Uh, if Leonard Nimoy uh, was a rapper and a dancer, he'd be Leonard B-Boy. 
Whoa, like that one. <laughs> uh, Arlie, too. If Leonard Nimoy was a national treasure, he'd be Leonard Nimoy. That is that is true. Uh, <laughs> one, Nikki. If Leonard Nimoy was a big, big like uh, goldfish swimming in a pond, he'd be Leonard Coy. Okay, <laughs> David, number three. Uh, when Leonard Nimoy was very young, uh, he was Leonard Knee High to a B boy. <laughs> Callback number four. Another callback. If Leonard Nimoy was a clownfish, he'd be Leonard Nemo. That is true. Okay, that concludes our show. I'm calculating the score. Um, dee doo 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 bee 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 boo 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 boo. All right, and my new best friend. Uh, it was a close match, but because of the frenzy app and a lead start. I gotta give it to Nikki Hart, right? <laughs> yes, uh -huh. Nikki Hart. So all our players are my friends. Nikki's my best friend until the next show. Please tune in uh, next week, uh, actually Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific uh, Standard Time, and we'll do this again. And um, Follow him on social media. Say goodbye, Arlie. Handsome Pete, signing off. <laughs> Say goodbye, David. I gotta go feed Thunder. He's doing the bearded dragon thing when they're like... Say goodbye, Zach. Uh, I gotta go talk to my parents. They're having an intervention about the whole sparkle thing. Apparently it's too much. Bye, guys. <laughs> and our winner... I'm Nikki, and I'm telling you to believe it. Chad's my best friend. Believe it. You heard them here. Um, please follow 